architecture of the Philippines is a reflection of the country's historical and cultural heritage. The Aduana Building, also known as the Intendencia, was a Spanish colonial structure in Manila, Philippines that housed several government offices through the years. It is located in front of the BPI Intramuros at Plaza España, Soriano Avenue, Corner Morales Street in Intramuros. The aduana was built in Intramuros to attract merchants to remain within its walls rather than the outside of it. In 1822, a Spanish engineer Thomas Cortes took charge of the project and began its construction in 1823. Despite of objections due to insufficient space for warehousing and its distance from the port, the construction continued until its completion in 1829. However, in 1863, the aduana suffered damages from an earthquake, which led to its demolition in 1872. Reconstruction of the building was later awarded to Luis Perez Yap Chonve, which began in 1874 and was completed in 1876. The rebuilding of the structure was based from the original design of Cortes. When the customs transferred, the offices of the Mint House and Treasury remained in the building and was renamed as Intendencia. This two-story governmental structure follows a neoclassical tradition with an emphasized horizontal and symmetrical form, particularly on the design of its packing. The central bay had three arch entrances and two principal staircases built around the two bases. The rectangular penetration on the uppermost story were decorated with rustications. The window-like portals were framed with pilasters topped with ornate capitals and were adorned with elaborate geometrical greenwood. Historic 
been on the street and is called the street along the cultural landscape of the passing river. The history and culture of the Philippines are reflected in its architectural heritage, in the dwellings of its various people, and in the buildings that have risen in response to the demands of progress and the aspirations of a people. The Capitol Theater was done by Francesco Ricardo Monti, also known for his works in some of the famous buildings in Metro Manila. The tower facade is symmetrically composed with lines offsetting each other to emphasize the strong and rigid geometric forms. This is most especially shown at the top with recessed tires resembling a ziggurat and the geometric details at the top corners. At the center of this is an art deco grill work that is made up of squares and circles surrounded by two pilasters on both sides. Both of the vertical surfaces have low-relief figures depicting two Filipino muses which are portrayed wearing native dress or traje de mestizas and local fauna which include carabao head. The external elements found in the building relate to the function of the structure as a cinema and the art deco style with its strong geometric forms. The theater closed because of declining theater business in Manila. The beginning of the light rail transit or LRT construction caused the theater goers to choose cinema theaters inside the newly opened air conditioned malls. Baco is a station on the South Rail Line of the Philippine National Railways. This is also the last station beside Carino Avenue before turning left towards President Sergio Osmeña Highway. It was originally built across Plaza de Lao in 1915, which was during the American colonial period. The Paco Railroad Station came into being on March 25, 1908, with the Manila Belt Line from Tutuban to Paco Station and the railroad line from Paco Station to Binacayan Cavite was opened. The Paco Railroad Station was also the scene of a heroic battle during the World War II, including the Battle of Manila. The recapture of the station led to the crucial defeat of the remaining Japanese forces in Manila. The old station, however, was partly demolished in 1996 by a developer that began constructing a shopping mall next to it. The demolition was not completed due to the cancellation of the mall construction, leaving the facade intact and abandoned up until now. The Manila Film Center is a national building located at the southwest end of the Cuchula Center of the Philippines Complex in Pasay. The structure was designed by architect Farlan Hong, where its edifice is supported on more than 900 piles, which reaches to the bedrock about 120 feet below. The Manila Film Center served as the main theater for the first Manila International Film Festival in 1982. The building has also been the subject of controversies due to an accident that happened during the final stages of its construction in 1981. An accident occurred around 3 o'clock a.m. on November 17, 1981 during the construction of the Manila Film Center. Its scaffolding collapsed and at least 169 workers fell and were buried under quick-drying wet cement. A blanket of security was immediately imposed by the Marcos administration and neither rescuers nor ambulances were permitted on the site until an official statement had been prepared. 
The rescuers were eventually permitted to go inside the accident site nine hours after the collapse.